Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Axel. I'm playing some more Atomic Heart. In the last one, I caught up to Petrov, but he K-worded himself. He uh he game ended himself. And uh I have to say that because it's like the form of censorship for you know the the S word, if you know what I'm talking about. So he did that and I had to kill a oh wow, I was like kill. Oh well. So I destroyed this big Bertha looking robot and now I'm back outside. For you in the Pavlov complex. Everything is ready for your arrival. I'll be there as fast as I can. I suggest using a car to move between the research complexes. There was a search. It was a pleasure serving with you, Major P3. Unfortunately, you are about to be killed. What? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. How goes it, Sonny? Still in one piece? Hey, Granny Zena. Long time no see. I've definitely had better days, but yeah. I guess I'm still in one piece. Did I hear right? You finally got that bastard Petrov. Well, nothing gets by you, huh? Yeah, you got him. Actually, he kind of got himself if you like him. Don't you worry. If you got his head, that means this will all be over soon. Then you can get some sleep. Now you're speaking my language, Granny Zena. Mind if I stop by for a cup of tea? Stop by any time, Sonny. By the way, uh, you didn't happen to find any engraved gold rings while you were off chasing after Petrov? No, I didn't, Granny Zena. Petrov didn't have anything on it. Oh, that's okay. You just watch yourself, Sonny. Stop by if you need anything. Petrov, that sick shithead, that fucking truth lover. Screw him. So much blood spilt just because he made the sprouts mutate. I highly doubt that Petrov had such a result in mind. He is not a geneticist or a plant breeder, and could not have foreseen all the consequences of the malfunction. Then why the hell did he do it? So many people are dead, and the ones with sprouts for heads had to get killed twice. First by the robots, then by me. Morally speaking, Petrov's action cannot be justified. We are in complete agreement in that regard. Fuck Petrov, he's dead. I feel bad for all those people. I stayed in the service after the war to stop this kind of thing from happening again. Now... You have my sincerest condolences for all that has transpired, Comrade Major. Get away, get away, get away. That thing's back. Charles, why does everyone want those rings so bad? You mean the beta connectors? Because they work, but are also considered not to exist. So nobody can prove they're out there, not even collective after the launch. Especially not collective after the launch. For collective... Anyone connected via the beta connectors will simply not exist. But they'll be able to see collective. Yes, all of it. A person with a beta connector will not be able to influence collective from the inside, since they won't exist for collective. But they will know about everything that happens Shut inside, up. You just like dick. any officially connected human or robot. But can't an officially connected human or robot disconnect from collective if they want to? They can just take their thought device off, right? I believe so, yes. You believe so? So you're not sure? Or is there something you're not telling me? I have no data, Comrade Major. But no one can stop a person from removing his or her thought device. It's worn on the head, not implanted in the skull. That's good, I guess. Gotta run away. Charles, I hate that no thing. Can force somebody into collective, right? Petrov was wrong about that. Not entirely. What do you mean, not entirely? Uh, what I'm the not a member fuck? of collective. How can collective find out about me? It's quite simple. Let's say you walk past a robot. The robot identifies you as a human, but you are not wearing a thought device. The robot fails to receive mental commands from you in response to its queries. So it realizes I'm not in collective and tells the others about it. Then what? They all start giving me shit about it? Essentially, yes. But I can just put my thought on, walk past the bot and do everything I'm supposed to do, then take the thought off, right? Essentially, yes. Then why is everyone so hot and bothered about the rings? I can't say for sure. Perhaps it's an issue of convenience. Thought devices need to be reconfigured every time they are put on. A ring can be taken off and put back on without inconvenience. There's gotta be more to it than that. Dude, this is such a long way. He's constantly introducing sanctions against our civilian robots. Why do they do that? Do they suspect something? The U.S. government clearly has certain suspicions, or at least concerns. Yeah, it's their job to be concerned about their country's security. But they don't have any hard evidence. That means they don't really have a leg to stand on, right? Indeed. 
That is precisely why Petrov caused the malfunction. Right? He wanted to show the world that our civvy bots have a combat mode. Fine. But the Americans don't know that. So what are the sanctions for? The American government is using the sanctions to find a middle ground between the needs of the capitalists and the growing discontent of the working class. You mean American working stiffs want to get our bots banned because they're taking their factory jobs, and the capitalists want to get more free robots so they can get rid of all the workers once and for all? Quite right. The American government is feeling pressure from both sides. So the sanctions remain moderate without banning robots entirely. They merely set quotas on importing them. So why does the Soviet Union give a shit? Who cares if the Americans sanction us? They're the ones stopping themselves from getting rid of the working class. Well, good. We're all about the workers. The more restrictions they place on the import and use of robots, the fewer of our robots will be located in key parts of the American government when collecting launches. So the Soviet government wants there to be as many of our civilian robots in the U.S. as possible when they activate combat mode. That'll make it that much easier to take over the country. I gotta admit, it makes sense. You talk. Autolysis starts approximately seven to ten minutes after death, followed by defecation in three to five minutes. Rigor mortis sets in five to six hours. Then, let me see, complete decomposition in about five minutes. What are you doing? I'm counting. Counting. Everything has to be thoroughly calculated. Precision matters. Observation in detail is the key to success. I am a scientist. I must spend every moment examining and cataloging nature's phenomena. Comrade, do you know many people capable of documenting the decomposition of their own bodies? What's the point? You can't even record your observations. What? Oh, shit. You have a point. So you will help me. Please stay next to me over the entire period of decomposition and keep track of the progress. You will manage. It won't take long. It won't take 535 to 650 days in current condition. Fine. I'll go get my notepad. Oh, cut off a cough. You made me lose my concentration. Let's start again. Say ya. You know, at a very young age, I was pretty disgusted when I found out that your body pretty much gets rid of the waste after your death is that a nuke alarm it sounds terrifying i don't like that sound what is going on up there Charles, what is this place? I mean, what is this complex even for? The Pavlov complex is the origin of all of Facility 3826's biological innovations. Unique experiments are conducted here, involving everything from breeding new species of farm animals to developing new space exploration technology. Outer space? You mean they make moon rovers here, not Chalomay? Space exploration is about more than just vehicles. A spaceship and rovers will, of course, be required. But what then? What about after humans reach the red planet? You mean they breed animals from What the fuck? Yes. In addition to breeding new species of animals suitable for Martian conditions, Soviet science is looking for ways to bolster man's ability to exist on Mars. So what, they're gonna give us gills so we can swim in gas oceans? Gas oceans are on Jupiter, Major. Mars features low temperatures and lethal hurricanes. But you're basically correct. The capabilities of your species have yet to be fully studied. So the latest medical breakthroughs, I don't new go life there. support systems, all came from here. Indeed, comrade. So many geniuses worked here for the good of all mankind. And now they're gone. Jesus, man.
Whack a ball. Did it. Hey there, man. Okay. It's a happy little robot. Nothing to worry about. Tell me, Comrade Major, based on your professional and personal experience, would our civilian robots in combat mode really be able to complete the Atomic Heart Project? Yeah, they could do it no problem. There were plenty of bots at all the military bases, headquarters, and launch sites, and nobody expected them to attack. They could take the American military by surprise, just like they did to the soldiers here. What a shame. The world just recovered from a war, and now there will be another. Well, it's not really so bad if you think about it. What do you mean, Comrade Major? If Comrade Sechenov and the Politburo want to take over the U.S. and even the whole world, they won't fight regular people. But civilians do perish during combat operations. You know all about that. If the robots are programmed not to kill civilians, they won't attack civilians. If you're a robot, Charles, you should know all about that. I'm a robot. Where the fuck did you even In come from? I suppose you're right. A robotic glove? What? Neuropolymer gloves won't take orders from collective? It depends on the group. Some will, and some will only be able to obey their carriers. I digress. Civilian robots will receive the order to activate combat mode from Collective. And whoever sets Collective's policies will easily be able to order them to kill anyone at all, including civilians. Why would they kill civvies? They're regular workers, farmers, scientists. Shit. So that's what they want the rings for. And what's that? You can take your thought device off and disconnect from Collective, but a bot can't, can it? That means your own robot housekeeper will drag your ass back into Collective at the drop of a hat. They want the rings to put on their own robots, so they'll only listen to them. Correct. So the plot thickens. Whatever's going on. I don't fully understand, but one day will. Climb, climb, climb. Now unlock.
stick to the walls. You know, just because you're overpowered doesn't mean you have to fight every battle. I need a key. God damn it. Got the disc. See you later, guys. You know, I thought I could lockpick. Why do I need the disc for? Unless maybe that's only for normal doors. Ballerina robot step on his throat. Yo, when's my turn? Touch me. Yo, what's up, pal? What are you talking at? Is it playing circus music? Please, Charles. A morgue? Indeed. The bodies of the dead are kept here for further study. What do you mean, the dead? There are bodies all over the place. Where did these come from? There are dozens of them, and most of them are young. These are the bodies of volunteers who died in dangerous human experiments. Holy fuck. I mean, I get that there are certain experiments that can't be performed on mice or pigs or whatever, so they need living people, but so many. This is completely fucked up. Unfortunately, things don't always go smoothly in science. Sometimes volunteers die. The sub-basement exists so that their deaths will not be in vain. Their bodies are studied to prevent this from happening again. Screw your sometimes. Couldn't they just use the condemned on death row for this? But even that's... Not all experiments can be performed on the dregs of society. Some important and secret projects require psychologically healthy volunteers. 
Sometimes these experiments can have tragic outcomes. What could be more tragic? Believe me, Comrade Major, there are things that are far worse than what you see here. Sometimes the deaths of volunteers can lead to a breakthrough that saves millions of lives. This was how the vaccine against the Brown Plague was developed. Let's keep going. This has to end. Now. Quick, quick, quick. God damn it. Got it. I finally got a blueprint for that. Oh, my God. Okay, no interruptions. Real quick. Why is your health bar? Oh no, not that thing. That thing's back. Uh, this is fucked. Such an off is a decent guy. How could he let this happen? An army of bots, killer mutants, thousands of innocent victims. No matter how you slice it, the facility's to blame. Even without Petrov, this place has issues. To say nothing of Collective 2.0. Seriously. I gotta wrap this up and retire. Maybe even get married. What? Nah, fuck that. Your negative brain activity is generating unpleasant artifacts in my code. I told you to stay out of my head, Charles. Get to work. Set me a fucking waypoint, damn it. Oh, there's more coming. Of course.
Take Victor's head to the complex lab. Right, so I got the dude's head. He, he killed himself. He committed suicide, so I just took his head because he told me to. Look at the size of that fucking thing. What is it? The experiments here involve the creation of neuropolymer endoskeletons for various animals. The goal is to allow them to live in hostile conditions on the outer planets of the solar system. Endoskeletons. That thing isn't going to attack us, is it? It's huge. The specimens here currently lack any neuropolymer brain tissue structure. They are nothing but polymer bodies at this time. They cannot move. Still, they're freaking massive. Are they for planets with low gravity? Some are, while others are for planets with high gravity. Research is being conducted for all scenarios. In one of the bats, you can even see attempts to breed an organism. Yeah, hold on one second. Yeah, what was that? Continue. Expected to see Victor like this in these circumstances. Hmm. We used to be thick as thieves, you know. But Victor made too many bad calls. Now look at him. Thanks to Dr. Sechenov's brilliance. You don't have to lose all of Petrov's knowledge. We'll be able to return the robots to their previous state. Once the simulation He's already dead, complete. you creep! Keep your hands off him! Grenade! Okay, more Dreamland. I'm going to end right here. Hope you're watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you next time for some more Atomic Heart. Bye.